What happens if you completely make it transparent? Then how do you get hold of it again? Those will always, those controls will always will remain visible. there. Yes, okay. absolutely. So you can just bring it back, and you can take it and you can pin it to the side, or you can open it back up and completely exit out. You can have to up the two of those floating on the screen alone. Sure. Additionally, for multitasking, we have another functionality called slide aside. So you yeah. can essentially have three apps stored off to the side without completely closing them. So for example, I have notebook. Using three points of contact, I slide it off to the side and you can see I get the notification one app saved. Now I open my cue theater and I slide. Oh, I'm running a video in the background. That's why. My apologies. Sure. Here we go. It's fine. Here we go. We'll use the Play Store, for example. Okay. Now I can slide this to the side. Now I have two apps saved. I can do up to three. I use those same three points of contact, and it pulls them out in almost an accordion style. From there, you can choose which one it is that you'd like to use. Now, if we turn our focus to the rear of the device, this device here, in fact, has a case on it. So this here on a traditional device would not be there. What we've carried through from the G2 is the innovative rear key design. This is your power key in the middle, volume up, and volume down. These are multifunctional. You can use them as quick shortcut keys to access quick memo and your camera by long pressing. Additionally, we have an LED light that is built into the power button here. This alerts you to different things. We have something that's called urgent call alert. If this is flashing red, that means you've received at 
minimum three calls from the same phone number within an hour. Okay. okay. Um, 13 megapixel camera. We have an IR blaster that complements the quick remote functionality that we have on here, so you can program anything that works with infrared technology. And then last but certainly not least, the self-healing back. So the Match resistant, it self repairs. Yeah, so yeah. the idea behind it is it's a proprietary resin that we've applied to the back of the device itself. What it's meant to do is fend off daily wear and tear that have come naturally from maybe placing the phone in your pocket with a pair of keys. The keys lightly scratch it. It has the ability to reduce, if not completely eliminate the scratch itself. They're preserving the original uh, beauty of the device itself. Okay? And that right there allows you to see with that with the G Flex and LG, anything is possible.